Yeah, on the one hand, it has become possible for technologically advanced powers to wage war with very little risk for for their own soldiers. Um, so that increases um, the likelihood that military force will be used. Uh, it's relatively cheap and uh, not so risky, and you can launch some cruise missiles or bombing missions. On the other hand, uh, our tolerance for losses, for deaths in war, has uh, gone down tremendously, meaning that um, today we, we, um, we don't accept that thousands of people die, uh, at least not on, on our own side or if we talk about, say, the United States. Um, the number of people who have died in the wars in, in Afghanistan and in Iraq and so on, on the US side, it's horrible, and each and every one of the deaths is a tragedy, and it's very sad, but those numbers are very low compared to the Vietnam War and the Second World War and so on. And yet people are fed up with war, and not only for economic reasons. They are extremely expensive, but um, the losses are not considered acceptable anymore. And so even though it is in a way easier to go to war and, and um, uh, it's more distant, uh, each and every death is is considered to be uh, a higher price, and I think that is a very positive development that um, people don't want to waste lives uh, to the same extent anymore. It is considered too too costly.